This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 249, Goal Setting for 2019. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers, and Happy New Year. I'd like to start off this podcast with a quote from Lewis Carroll. And Carroll said, If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. But I can't help but wonder, well, where's there? I prefer the quote from Yogi Berra, who said, If you don't know where you're going, you'll end up someplace else. See, that's about right. This is the thing. If you don't have a direction, if you don't have a goal, if you don't know where you're going, it's all the same. You go nowhere. And you can never get there because you go nowhere. You never arrive because you didn't really have that destination. So without a direction, a destination, or a goal, you end up in a situation where you have this nagging, constant feeling of not getting anywhere. And trust me, folks, that dissatisfaction can eat at you. Now, when I've been intentional in my life, when I've thought wisely about what I want and I've set goals to guide me, I've found success and peace. But in those times when I haven't, <laughs> it's been an absolute, it's been an absolute mess. So I don't want you folks to make the same mistakes as me. So many of you out there don't believe in making New Year's resolutions. I've been reading a whole bunch about this now that it's the end of the year. I think that's a bunch of balderdash. This is a great time of year to think about your hopes and dreams for 2019. We're past the winter solstice, past Christmas, and today is New Year's Day. The days are getting longer and things are looking up. So this is what we're going to do in this episode I'm going to lay out a process for creating a vision and a set of goals and to make that vision become reality. I'm going to walk through that worksheet, how I use it, and fill it out. I'm going to share the mindset necessary to complete this task, and in the end, I'll give you some examples and some urgency to take action today. So, with no further ado, let's get to it. So to kick this off, I'm going to start with a worksheet that I've placed in the show notes, and you'll find those at www.salesbabble.com slash 249. And if you click on that link, it's going to be called the 2019 One-Page Goal-Setting Worksheet. It's a Google Docs, and you can make a copy for yourself. Now, if you don't like Google Docs, shame on you, but I've also included a blank PDF form that you can print and fill out. For those of you driving and working out or whatever you're doing right now, I'll explain this in a way so that when you do get online, you'll know exactly how to fill it out. Now, this process is all about being mindful about who you are and what you're about. We each need to answer the question, what are the things that I can do to have some positive impact on my life? And you won't be surprised to know that I've found that in helping and serving others, it's often where we find the most satisfaction. I know this sounds like a paradox, But I often share the quote from Zig Ziglar, you will get all you wanted in life if you help enough other people get what they want. I have really seen this become true in my life. This is what makes for great selling too, giving values to strangers, helping them out, and turning them into customers for life. So at the top of the worksheet, where it's labeled 2019 Goal Setting Plan, right below it is your vision statement And what I like to place here is what I see happening throughout the year. Not necessarily in detail, it's like one sentence, but a vision that will make you smile. This year, my vision is to have multiple positive impacts on new ventures in 2019. As you guys know, I do consulting for startups. These are people rolling out a new product or a service or addressing a new market that they've never done before. The work I did last year was extremely fulfilling, and I want to keep that up to even a greater degree this year. That's what my vision statement is about. So in one sentence, the task for you is to answer the question, what's your vision statement? Now let's look at the rest of the worksheet. Below it, there are four sections, core values, goals, 
reasons, and key behaviors. You can see that by the sections that this isn't just some to-do list. This list is setting up the foundation for the motivation for you to complete your vision. Under each section, there's a numbered list, one through five, and your task will be to fill each of those out. Again at the top, the first section is the core values. In this section, you answer what's important to you, or in other words, what are the core values that make you do the things that are often not easy to do. <laughs> cool, huh? You don't want to live life based on somebody else's values. What are the things that motivate you? For example, some of the core values that, that I have are to share wisdom born from my experience with others, to have a helping mindset. So you can see for me personally that hosting the Sales Babble podcast is a way that I do that, helping others to move forward. And this podcast is totally free. I get more than enough satisfaction knowing that I'm helping others out of there. Some of you I've never, ever met. I never, ever will. So answer this question. What are your core values? Just five sections. Write them all down. The next section, what are your goals? The goals are the gears in the watch, with the core value being the watch. It is in this place that you share the big five of the year, top five goals that you want to see completed within the next 12 months. If you've been listening to the Sales Babble podcast for a while, you know there's a ton of goals that you could set, such as if you're in sales, having a clear process for calling a lead and then sending them an email and then leaving them a voicemail and then repeating that cycle at least eight times and documenting all that in your CRM so you can remember to put in a follow-up, right? That's, that's a goal. That's a concrete goal that you could set for yourself. Another thing that you could do is to set aside a day or two and say that I'm going to make 20 calls no matter what happens in the rest of my business. Even though the rest of my business has compelling problems that I need to solve, I'm going to set aside time to prospect for new customers. And the reason you would do this is because you know in your heart that if you do this, everything else is going to fall into place. So for the example of things that I have here, I want to promote my podcast weekly. I want to offer 20 ebooks. I want to guest on 10 podcasts. You know, these are all very, very measurable goals. I want to help at least one startup every week, if not more. I did a lot of this this last, this last year. I want to do it even more so. And I also want to launch a product. Like I said, these are all measurable things that by the end of the year, I can evaluate if I was serious on this vision or not. So, what's your goals? The next section is the reasons. You place here the five most compelling reasons for hitting your goals and elevating your life. This is the fuel for your goals. For example, the reasons I have is, is I want to grow and flex and engage my mind. I want to have satisfaction of knowing I've helped others. I want to satiate my curiosity, which is... <laughs> Which is very, which is very hungry, and and I want to meet great people, and I really want to experience the joy and the humor of life, which is, which is why I'm always laughing. But I think it's really important. I want to put that in center place that I need to remember that 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 there's a lot of humor in life. Remember the quote. Actually, I have this quote on my computer. I'm looking at it right now. It says, "Life is a tragedy for those who feel, and a comedy for those who think." <laughs> I see things as a comedy. So, what are your reasons? It's your turn to put those down. And lastly, the fourth section is where the rubber meets the road. What are the key behaviors and habits you must develop in order for this year's goals to be met? In the key behavior section, again, you need to list five of these things. For me, I have things like daily mindfulness, daily quotes, moving my body and eating mindfully. And then I've got engaging and discovering those in need, which is kind of a nice way of, say, prospecting. But it's more than that, you know. It's just like having genuine conversations with people and finding out if there's anything I can do to help them. And then there's the key behavior of experimentation and being intentional and to have, like, cut things up in half-hour units and saying, I'm only going to focus on this one thing and not getting distracted by other things. And then, of course, another thing I've added on here, which is different from what I've done in the past, is to spend more time outdoors because I've found that really makes a big difference to me. 
that the more I'm outdoors, the better and the happier I am. These are the things that I need to do to fuel my goals. Now, one of my favorite podcasts I listen to is Freakonomics. Stephen Levitt and Stephen Dubner talk at length about the concept of the commitment device. It's a way to lock yourself into following a plan of action that you might not want to do, but you know is good for you. So you kind of do it now with the idea of locking yourself into the future. So in other words, a commitment device is a way to give yourself a reward or a punishment and to make an empty promise stronger and believable. This is the technique I use to avoid procrastination. When it comes to goal setting, one powerful commitment device is to publish the goals to the world, to share them. Now, we all say that we want to live a life of integrity, to be honest, and, and, and that we say something is true. If we say we're going to do something, we often do it. Many times we do it because we don't want to be judged of being all talk and no do. When we say it, it happens. The way people get around this is they don't commit to anything because they don't want to be held accountable for this. So they don't promise to do things that never happen. Then we scratch our heads and in the future wonder, how come things just aren't getting done? Now, I don't mean to judge. I do this myself. <laughs> so that's why I can speak confidently about this. So instead, consider the possibility of publishing your goals, this worksheet, to the world. And it can mean just as much as like sharing it with some friends or um, I'm putting it on a link. In fact, I'm going to post it right here on this episode. I'm going to print it out, and I'm going to paste it on my medicine cabinet. So I'm going to be looking at it every day when I'm brushing my teeth, and I'll reflect on living my vision and working on my goals. Just tell somebody that you're going to do this. You could post it on a tweet. You could post it in LinkedIn, in the makerspace that I work out of. Uh, I'm, I've shared it with them. In the way I did it, I just said, I'm simply excited about my 2019 outlook. This is what I'm going to do. If you could help me, that would be great. If I can help you, that would be even better. Two weeks ago, Connor Canine came to the Sales Babel studio. He's the Irishman Speaks. And he asked a question, what are the three words you want people to say about you when you leave the room? And it brought up the conversation. I spoke some about the idea of the obituary, that when you're past in this world, what do you want people to say about you? Because we only get one chance on this planet, only one shot. And I'm always conscious that it'd be silly to squander today with the trivial and not focus on things that matter. For me, that's friends and families and all of you. So I challenge you in this year, 2019, to have a vision and a goals and to bring that vision to reality. Over Christmas, it was actually on Christmas Day, I read a quote from Seneca the Younger. He was a Stoic. And he said that people can be divided into two groups. One that goes ahead and achieves something and those that come afterward and criticize. The critics don't count. It's those of us out there who are picking up the phone every day and searching for people to find value in knowing us. And I know, I know, too often the phone goes to voicemail, and too often the phone numbers don't work, and too often when we send an email it goes to a spam filter and it never gets read, and way too often we get the unequivocal, no, 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 Pat, I'm not interested. But with time and effort, sometimes we may find success. And other times, we may find it doesn't work at all. But because of that effort, in the end, we may understand the triumph of success or the reality of failure. But at least we dare to try. Unlike all those fearful critics and haters out there who never know winning or losing. Let's create a vision. Let's get some goals. Let's set some parameters for living the good life. And let's dare to be great. Again, you can download the worksheet at www.salesbabble.com slash 249. You can get a blank sheet, and you can see the example of the work of my goals for 2019 too. If you're not sure what to do, don't hesitate to reach out. Click on the Babble Me button at salesbabble.com on the home page. Ask me a question. You can even see my phone number there. You can give me a ring. If I don't answer, it'll go to voicemail, but I'll get back to you by the end of the day. You can see that when I say this, I say this a lot at the end of every episode, that I am really trying to fulfill my core values of sharing wisdom born from experience to others and of having a helping mindset. 
don't hesitate to reach out. That's all I got for today. Again, Happy New Year's, everybody. I wish you the very best. Take care, and I hope today that you have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. 